This plant sucks. The Tree of Heaven can be identified by its compound leaves, smooth grayish brown bark, and its tendency to pop up pretty much anywhere. This species, being native to China and part of Southeast Asia, was introduced to the US in the early 19th century. Prized for its visually interesting foliage and quick growing nature, the Tree of Heaven was sold as an ornamental. Eventually escaping cultivation, can now be found across Canada and the US, including Hawaii. The Tree of Heaven is currently classified by the US Forest Service as a noxious or invasive species. Those of us in the eastern US may also know of its role in the proliferation of the spotted lanternfly. Being both an available food source and a safe space for the lanternflies to lay eggs, these two species are often a package deal. This dreaded combo can make a home in pretty much any unmaintained green space, whether it's a highway median, um, a health strip, or your own backyard. Four reasons why this plant sucks. One, it grows really quickly. In some cases, sprouts can grow 10 to 15 feet in a year. Two, this plant is prolific in its ability to form dense clonal monocultures through an ability known as root suckering, where one plant, once established, can send out lateral roots up to 50 feet, and from any place in those roots, additional trees can sprout, lay down their own tap roots, and continue that pattern season after season. Three, the Tree of Heaven produces allelopathic compounds in its bark, leaves, and most prominently in its roots. These compounds, once in the soil, prevent new plants from sprouting up and growing. Four, when this tree flowers, it stinks. Some people describe it as rotten peanut butter, used gym socks, whatever. Bottom line is it smells bad. And as a bonus, in combination with the lanternfly infestation, as those bugs feed on the tree, they produce a waste product known as honeydew, which, depending on the severity of the infestation, can actually pour down the trunk or branches of the tree, coating anything underneath the canopy, such as lawn, furniture, yourself, your dog, and in short time, anything coated in the honeydew, which is a watery, sugar-rich substance, will eventually develop a layer of sooty black mold. Unattractive. In my case, I had nine of them, all over 50 feet tall, looming over the east side of my property. The largest of them were growing towards my house and crowding the utilities. Between that and the general unsightliness of the trees, how they covered my yard in a sooty mold in the summertime, uh, the lantern fly infestation that they brought with them, they had to go. So what did I do? Well, I called a professional and I paid them to cut down the trees. That may be a disappointment to some DIYers out there, but honestly, the job was too big for me to do on my own and I needed it done correctly and quickly. I wanted this project done as soon as I could. I couldn't move forward with my landscaping goals with those trees there. Between dropping the honeydew, which turned into the sooty mold, on anything I planted underneath the tree line, the actual shade cover that they provided in a space where I needed some sun, the stink, and how overgrown they were, I needed them gone. Some of you may be asking if I treated the stumps with an herbicide. The answer is no, I did not. So glyphosate being the recommended chemical is a very potent poison. And at the time, I didn't really feel comfortable introducing that into my small yard. Um, I have a senior dog, um, also neighbors, cats sometimes come through my yard and it just wasn't a thing that I wanted to introduce into our little environment. So in my case, yes, I have a bunch of Tree of Heaven sprouts coming up in my yard um, and out of the stumps themselves, but they're relatively easy to deal with since I'm back there all the time. I can pick them, I can use a shovel to start to dig up the roots. The suckers themselves typically come from this like gnarly root ball that forms which I assume is a concentration of, you know, a carbohydrate material so that it can fuel the significant upward growth of those little sprouts. I hope you all enjoyed this little factoid about the Tree of Heaven. Um, thank you for making it this far in the video. If you'd like, leave in the comments any topic or set of subjects that you'd like to hear about in future videos. 
The point of this channel is to create a discussion around wildscaping or naturalized landscape, a idea in the landscaping world that prioritizes native plants and other best practices that support our native ecology. One of the pillars of that approach is removing invasive species like the tree of heaven. So again, if there's something you wanna learn more about, drop it in the comments. Some of you may be in a similar position as myself. Maybe your yard is neglected, maybe it's overgrown in some areas, but it has potential given the right care. For my space, I have a vision. So I hope as I document my progress and share what I learn, some of you might be inspired to make some similar decisions. So follow along, join the conversation, and let's make the world a wilder place, one yard at a time. Peace.